we sort of just like give it over to somebody else and we need to take out ownership of those things. Um, and so that's what I'm going to talk about. You know, with isolation comes a total of emotional issues. Like my mom was so upset that like all the, all the kids didn't want to get together. My two brothers considered me vectors and didn't want to be around me. And um, <clears throat> what the emotional state that is happening because of the virus and because of the isolation of social distancing, we've not talked about that. And it's so, we are, um, I think God created us to be in community, not to be separated and silent. And so that isolation is, I think, going to cause issues. And so I think we need to think about that when we're coming out of isolation and doing it wisely that we, one, protect others. In public, I wear a mask. And two, you know, you, be your healthcare professional, you do the things that you have to do to support your body. And one, support your emotions. Oh, my gosh. And your stress. There's so much you can do for it. I got to only visit a very short time with a few of my friends and my dear friends that you'll hear on this podcast that all we're going to look at right now. And it's been because she was telling me that, um, oh, yeah, she is totally helping out her coworkers and passing out supplements that um, I'm going to talk about more on this podcast, um, this adaptive line. Um, it's adaptive essential oils. It's adaptive supplements that is aiding our emotions. Oh, my gosh, so powerful. I've been stuck in the car, and I was doing, um, I've been caffeine because I've been up since like three. I decided to get on the road and just, you know, do this all in daylight, and I don't want to drive a lot during the dark. So the sooner I get, um, get up and a little in the morning when it's dark and get on the road, the best thing. So to aid with my drive, my oils are right next to me. My essential oils that are a gift to me are right next to me. I literally just put them on my hands, put them on my steering wheel so that I can breathe them in, that I can control my emotions here. And if you don't have a as well, the ones I use are, are what you care because it's so important to people buying all these oils and herbs and supplements. There are a lot of people doing that. I mean, I stopped at a couple of um, health food stores when I was there. You just see it everywhere. Actually, it's not oil. And the thing is, is that a lot of essential oils in the market, um, are not, the point about any supplement is not regulated. So what you're saying is the model is not, it all depends on the company. The triple to what's say in the bottle. Why I choose the company I'm in, because there's a lot number at the bottom. You can go look up that lot number on a source to you.com. You can go see that all the testing. You can see it was done by a third party company. And you know it's here because when you're buying an oil, such as like I just put peppermint. Peppermint's great for uplifting and promoting alertness when you're driving a long distance. And so I put that on my hands, I put that on my steering wheel, actually. And peppermint is great, but like you go pick up peppermint and I said, well, holy geez, like any grocery store right now, everywhere's selling them, so. And most of them don't say it's not for internal use. Well, peppermint, we all know, if it grows in your backyard, it should be food based. You should be able to put a drop in your mouth. Um, but if it's not saying that it has all of these warning labels, that's telling you that that's not what it says it's in the bottle. There may be some peppermint in the bottle, but you don't know all these fillers. They're going to cause issues. So why would you want to get this? If you want a central oil, if you want a pure, potent therapeutic, you want the chemical constituents to do what they're supposed to do with your body. You don't want something synthetic. So that is so important when you're out shopping for oil. That's why I choose the company I'm with. If you've not had that, you can reach out to me at elicitstravelmarkets.gmail.com. I answer all of my emails personally. I don't have a mailing list at this point. If somebody wants, I, because I literally don't have a mailing list right now, it's just because I get so many of them that I don't have time to read. And I think if some people want to reach and read more some of the stuff that I'm saying now or be a part of my tribe, they can join my Facebook group. They can go see my blog post on my website. There are multiple ways where they can consume the information that I'm putting out. And so those are those ways. If they want an email, I want it to be personal. I like personal emails from other people. I want it to be personal for me. And that's what I like sending out to people. And, and then, you know, working with people and their particular issues as a health coach, I want to go, okay, well, I don't have all the answers, but I can give you guidance. 
And this, if I was in your shoes, would be doing this with my diet, would be doing this with the oil, doing this with the supplement. That's what I'd be doing. Um, and that's kind of what I've had to do in my own life when it comes to many things in my health. Um, I, I do love functional medicine here. I hear more functional medicine practitioners on here and to look at some their coaches and people like that. And it can be hard to find and work with one. I know because uh, personally I don't have one. I'm kind of biohacked and take care of my health myself. I take ownership of my health. I take ownership of learning more about how I can control my health, things that I can be doing with my body, mind, soul, and spirit together in aiding the best kind of health. Kind of on a tangent there. Um, but as for is isolation, but managing stress, you guys. So it is, I feel like it's just like the high stress we're living in right now. And if you if you had to take a, a medication, that's fine. If, if you are supplementing and getting on a lot of alcohol, I think it's bad. Because one, in this situation, what I've been, one thing I really know is that having a very good functioning liver in your organs is so crucial to your immune system. Gosh, your liver does so much in your body. And if you're bombarding it with chemicals such as alcohol on a daily basis, that is not a good thing. It does make you a higher risk for getting sick with COVID and flu, anything else, and having more issues. Um, doesn't mean that you can't have occasional drink. I had some alcohol three or four days ago, but I don't have it consistently, and it was like the first alcohol I've had in a month. So it's important to, to reach for something that your body's going to see as natural and it's not going to stress your body even more so when it comes to helping aid with management of stress. And this is where I love the oils that actually aid and they go across our blood brain barriers and they help balance and restore and they're so, and then aromatically, they're so potent and beautiful in helping with our mood and stress management. And so this is why personally, if um, you're listening to this, some of the nurses that I've helped get bonded from another friend, I have literally given out these blessed essential oils because I think they're so crucial and they're so crucial to our frontline workers right now and our nurses and our doctors and our everyone that is working at high high risk. I mean we were talking I was talking to other fellow you know workers and we're doing so much like all my friends that I use oils and supplements doing so much because we have to be because we're gonna be exposed even with all the PPE we have we're still going to be exposed um, a lot more than COVID. It's um, a viral road meeting that you just get. So vaccines are great in the, in the concept of them. And that's what a vaccine gives you a little, you know, a little part of the actual virus and then so you have things in the antibody. The thing is, is that the healthcare workers, if their um, PPE is worn out or they don't have enough or something happens, they get a huge viral um, load, like a whole bunch of it at once that is the risk of being very sick. And the more you're exposed to that virus, the more it is going to have, be able to take force in your body, if that makes sense. Just a teeny bit um, would help you maybe create hit some antibodies. So with that, I think nurses know and healthcare providers know, and I don't know if you know, but maybe you're listening to this, and you're going, oh, well, these are things that I could be doing. There's so many things you could be doing to manage stress. There, um, it's so much about just turning off the damn TV and getting drunk. And when you're focusing, and you you have the problems of the children, or you have problems of thinking that, oh, my gosh, I just lost my job. But if you focus on these negative things, it's only going to cycle the negative things in your head. You have to get out of that. You have to snap something to get out of that cycle that will so easily cycled in your head and you have to change it. That's why actually getting outside in the sun is amazing and going for that walk and choosing what you listen to, choosing what that you are going to focus on and meditation and prayer and things like that are so powerful to aiding your mood and your stress. So I'm out here looking at the couch. I'm like, there's like, any, the cars going back to me are some semis, and then I have literally um, one car on the one in the direction that I can see in miles. So it's fascinating to be just to get an isolated area. I'm hoping to make some of the whole So hopefully you're all still hearing me as I do this live. So 
anyway, guys, I would love to know if what people are doing for their isolation. You can always reach out to Spinach Company and how you're managing your stress. Um, medications such as Xanax and all those tech things are highly addictive, and they're they're effective for a very short period, but for a long-term period, they can be highly addictive. And I don't know if they're quite necessary. Um, I, I wonder if you could just, if you would really just work with someone and then have a health coach. I'm doing three Zoom calls once a week. I didn't do one this week, but I will do it this coming week, just so that I can help the community, the people that want to be helped, that want to deal with their stress naturally, that want to learn how to manage their immune system, aid their immune system. Those are one thing, and there's lots of other people that are doing Zoom calls do right now. So I hope that is like something that you can look into and do. But you have to make this conscious effort to not have that negativity cycle in your mind. That's where oils are often to switch that. Also, um, if you have to be doing something to maybe interact with people, if you're really fearful of your um, one of those people, such as someone that is a dear to my heart, my mother-in-law, who is going for chemo, she has major isolation. But maybe there are a few people that you know, I can go and see, but I can go and see with the mask. We can sit outside, we cannot sit inside, we can still see each other, we can still interact because you don't need to be so isolated. There's so much um, negativity that is going to happen with this isolation. And especially with our senior citizens in the nursing homes, I think it, um, we're going to see an increased death rate just because of pure isolation that's happening with those communities and they're not getting their interaction with each other or the family that they so long for. And you so God put it there for connection with one another. So this is the one thing that I was just going to chit chat about. Why I'm driving before I turn this off and continue listening to my book, um, learning more about hormones. And look forward to having.